As we're talking today about uh, customizing retirement income from a tax perspective, I had a great conversation this morning with one of, my, one of my clients, and he had an aha moment. And the idea is that, you know, uh, one of the big decisions when it comes to retirement planning is, you know, should you annuitize some money? Should you take pension money? Um, or should you take lump sums and defer it longer? Uh, you know, so the trade off there is a lot of times pensions offer a very good payout, very good payment for the, for the lump sum. You know, company pensions do. Um, oftentimes much better than what you get on the uh, market and annuities. Uh, but when you do that, you are committing to certain taxable income every year. The other side of it is taking a lump sum, and with that lump sum, you have more control over your money, but of course there's market risk, you might do something stupid with it, etc. So, uh, but the aha moment he had was, wow, he said, you know, I could control my taxes, so if I do not pensionize the money, if I don't take the pension option, I take the lump sum, I could control the amount of taxes every year that I pay based on where what money I use each year to live on. I said, exactly. One of the big issues when it comes to retirement planning and what we as retirement income planners have to think about is when we're constructing an overall plan is the fact that um, things like Medicare, premiums, uh, certain tax deductions, etc. Uh, people who earn too much money get punished on those. So the key thing is, is you want to be able to control, have some control over taxable income through years of retirement. And in this case, um, not only have control, but it's a decision that you'd often would want to make year to year. It's not something you could say, oh, I'm 62, I'm going to do this until I'm 90. It doesn't work that way. Financial planning is a breathing, living process. Every year you would analyze what are the best, where are the best places to take cash out of for retirement? Which account should I be accessing? How much capacity do I have tax-wise? Should I be taking some money out of retirement accounts, paying taxes on that now so that I don't, I don't defer it so much and have the retirement time bomb at 70 and a half when I have this enormous, I have no cash in the bank, an enormous IRA with huge required distributions and large tax bills. So. A real beauty that uh, that he came to the realization of when it comes to retirement planning is the ability to control somewhat, and you know, I shouldn't say somewhat, pretty extensively for some people, how you pay taxes for your retirement income and how much taxes you will pay. Think about that when you're putting your retirement plan together, break, breaking it out, uh, what your expenses are going to be, your deductions, etc., and make sure that you put tax planning and smart tax planning into your distribution, retirement distribution plan. Have a great day.